Hello everyone, um, welcome back. Today we'll be doing iOS app for the expense logger. So whatever we have done. So let me just take you to the product page. So here it is expense logger site cannot be connected. Okay. So let it boot. I'll just so it should take us into the product. Yeah. okay so this is the product now and there is a new expense so you add expense and it takes you to the screen so this is done in the web full stack today we'll start on the iOS project so I'm planning to do it in Swift UI so that I will learn a bit of it so it should look something like this uh, with edit and delete button hidden inside some of hidden inside the gestures so what I will do is so I created last time when I checked OBS and iOS simulators didn't get along so hopefully this time they get along I was not able to load the iOS simulators okay this is the Xcode I just created Xcode with the Swift UI so yep this is a scene content view so basically I need some things so I need in the first thing what we will do is um, we'll create a list like this we'll forget about this and this part we'll have a list like this this is the basic uh, thing what we, what we need to list all the expenses and below a navigation bar so we'll do that so what do we need for list is a list mm. okay that's great I think it should load so what if I have some data so if I say where expenses and let's just add a string here so list something called for each for each expense in this won't be inside the list so I need a list and I need to iterate through each of the item so let's just go to Swift UI documentation and see UI documentation we'll go here we'll see views and controls drawing animations to
we should get a list type here navigation link picker stepper so we don't have okay hopefully we'll have a we are done with this we are done with this come on where is the list okay Okay, I think this example doesn't have one. Yeah, building lists and navigation is great. So this looks good. First tutorial, you hard coded information into the custom views. You will learn to pass data into the custom views for the display. Get started by downloading the starter project. Okay, this is a lot of code. Okay, this is some kind of model data. Okay, this is the detail view. This is one single row as of now. Horizontal stack. Okay, customize row preview. These are the rows. Where is the list? I think we missed somewhere we use compose detail I don't think there is a list view here in this side of tutorial hmm. combine using view stack okay that's fine if there is a json this is landmark row row preview grouped okay create the list of landmarks so landmark list okay we have list but how are we passing this is crazy how are we passing each item where does this landmark data come into the picture remove the two static rows and instead pass the landmark data to the list initializer list works with the identifier okay where did it get the row Instead of specifying list elements individually, you can generate rows directly from the collection. You can create a list that displays elements by passing your collection of data and a closure that provides a view of the element in the collection. This transforms each element into collection in the child view. I mean, that's fine. But okay, I think this is the data source. This is the array. It has a unique identifier, and this is the individual item. Okay, so that should work then.
so what we'll have is expenses for preview then okay we can create one new file says swift ui view no i don't want a ui view i just need a simple file which will say expense expense so this should be a struct expense and right now just will have an id that id type string let expense description is of string so we need to make this as uuid okay unique identifier and once this is done we can create a list of expense here expense of one and say doc one copy this two three four and five five four three two and one and the best thing is pass this to expenses this is not a string this is of type expense cannot convert this into UUID Okay, how about unwrapping it? I think they have Xcode has got something like that where you can edit all the rows together. Yeah, we could have done that. Unresolved identifier expenses example. Here it has to be expenses example. A function requires opaque type but has no return statement. Sync call, yeah. So it's done. So let this be here. Content view expenses example, and we got the expense here. So we have expenses, comma. What was it? ID. Can copy this and say there's the ID expense in 
so we can have a text which says expense dot do have description that is editor view it's called preview if I'm not wrong preview automatically refresh oh show preview resume build failed missing argument in the expense call resume build succeeded could not crashed on launch okay what what did we miss okay the model has been created somewhere and I'm not sure where they have created I just basically want let me read through this there is a landmark row so it's creating a row from the landmark data where is this landmark data this landmark data has to be somewhere Is it like I can access that global thing anywhere so that I don't have to give this I just give example and this should work running expense logger try again Diagnostics, trash check line, domain. Rendering service was interrupted. Okay, I think this has to do something with the OBS which I was speaking. Let's check how we are getting into this. Stop expense logger. Build succeeded. It's launching okay so this is the problem UDID with string UUID okay I can give this I don't want this I will replace with this okay does this make sense yep so now we should 
be loading our preview. So we don't need this assistant. Okay. Ah. Man. Command option. Enter. Ooh. What has happened to Xcode? How do I get my preview? Content view. Okay, I have. Okay, that was my fault. I should be in some content view. Okay, got it. Okay, now we have this docs. It's not scrollable. Okay, now let's build the individual row now we have date we have description we have the amount so in the expense can say let's say date this is of type date let expense date and we had amount amount would be double okay amount would be 10 Let's copy this Just paste it here. One, two, three, and four. So we have this. Now we can go ahead and create a Swift UI class or a struct and name it expense row and this person will get an input expense and here it would be expense dot description for now and expense dot date let's convert that date into the desired format in some time and the amount okay and I need to put this in a V stack alignment dot leading spacing would be like five and the content is another closure so I'll put this 
in a VStack and then I will have a H stack where I can move this up a bit string describing okay this is done so we have expense expense example of zero hmm. so now we have that amount and we need to cut this by only two decimals so swift trim decimals to two places Hope this helps. So what we can do is we can have a computed property say var amount to display and it would be string and inside what we can do is we can round this up and we can say return double we can amount Round it to 100 cannot convert expression into a string. Correct. Okay, now this should do the trick. So, because expenses are always bound to, it doesn't go beyond three digits and uh, two digits. So it's better to restrict it here itself so this would be the amount I don't still have okay so what if I had the example dot thirty one dot zero zero three three one dot one four so expense dot row should get me yep three one okay we can have help us later so I got this I can have a spacer here and I can have uh, 
padding of say 10 say 20 okay this looks good um, dot bold this should be dot subtitle font weight dot light okay so this is what we need so we can have font weight dot black so this will be very dark heavy nope same effect regular semi bold semi bold should do for me okay dot yep so we got this line done this needs to be corrected and there is sufficient padding around everything so now what we can do is we can give this row into this content view and we can just pass exp so we have this beautiful rows now okay now what we can do is five six seven eight nine and 11 go to content view resume and we have this why is it not scrollable because we have not run it I don't think it is still scrollable because it's still loading let's just stop this and run it on the simulator yep it's working fine so let's just stop this resume and now we need to put this under navigation view let's put this inside and say list dot navigation bar title expense lock so we have this good title where are we going to put the total hmm.
we may need to ask our view model or the business logic data something like expenses well to say 350.41 and this gets updated as and when there is addition, deletion or modification of this data. Is this a good idea? I'm not sure. Or we can have a section about this. So I can say expense logger here. Can say a section. text total expense 350.41 dollars will that work I'm not sure Where did the list go? Okay, let's get stop our guessing game. Let's just go to the group. Let's just go to the documentation so I want a list so where do I build a list? group sections navigation view this we have added navigation bar title we have added this now these are the landmarks this is the detail page where do I go for grouping? Preview device. They are adding. Okay. So next thing is Swift UI plus. sections hacking with swift task scroll list section header okay this was pretty simple So I need to give this here. Correct. And move this inside. I'm not sure still. Where does my list go? Oh, okay. Okay. So, list 
will have sections so sections won't be having list okay let's dissect this a little further Let's just get rid of this. What will we get? Okay. I need to get rid of this and then I have to say for each ID We don't need this. Navigation bar title expands logger. We have that and we have header here with some text okay header can also be customized to some kind of view because it's expecting a text and i can say total expense is for one okay and we need it to be grouped can also add the footer no I want the primary objective is to as soon as you launch your web app you should see what is my total expense here so on the list so these two things are predominant either you are coming to the application to add a new item a new expense or that's a general thing and the second most important thing is to see the total expense as of now so rest everything edit delete looking at the list is all secondary so the primary objective is either to add an expense and or look at the total amount of the expense so that we have that is not going to change so as soon as I launch I need this to be seen okay should confirms to view okay um how do i swift uis group make a grouped list 
example row text list style okay this is good that's not very predominant should highlight in line okay let's just focus on this I am going to add one more view now to customize my header um, expense total header or I can say expense total view can reuse it anywhere so I am just going to pass the total here so where total expense amount I'm not sure whether I'll be passing it here so let's just say uh, horizontal stack which will have text total expense and then we will ha also have a text which will say 350.41 will have spacer in between this would be of font weight um, regular semi bold ultra thin nil semi bold and this should be heavy font weight dot size UI font system font of size okay I can use this instead of this say 25 and font weight heavy so this should do the trick what is it saying cannot convert a value of UI font to expected font okay there's no system font Uh -huh. so this is a problem let's just fall back I can't change the font size I want it to be large
what is CD font? So back to again Swift UI font size. dot font okay dot font weight bold should work Sixty is too high. Twenty-five. Semi bold. Okay. And this should have a padding of say 20 and a background color. There's no background color for this. I doubt. Background view. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's leave it for now and use this. Hmm. So when I use any view, no matter what I customize, what if I change the color to red? Foreground color dot red and what about the content view okay color changes that's good spins row foreground color dot red okay I like this and it should go in line when you scroll up so let's just run and see how it goes okay okay I want to keep it I want to stick it here at the top hmm 
let's relax so okay we have achieved this ui so basic things we have achieved right now so one is getting the list we have customized each row we have a section header here which shows us our total expense then we have expense logger either we'll have a plus button here to add a new expense or a floating button at the down once we have that we will be good to go let's just check how does this appear in dark mode so when I open this and system UI general about team I need to see it in dark mode. So, what is the option? Add one more here plus show your bones. So there was some way where we could have done that. Let's see. Okay, for now, what we will do. missing parameter destination so we don't want it okay I'll stop the stream here now and let's see tomorrow either we can have a plus button here or a a floating button here or one navigation bar item so that we can add new things and we'll populate try to populate live data if possible so target is by the end of this week um, we need to complete the iOS app in Swift UI guys thanks for watching see you tomorrow